Hello everybody, so today is Tuesday. Wow, what a difference 24 hours make. The rain has been lashing down for about the last four hours or so. Roads are like rivers, a lot of local flooding. Anyway, tonight is the rest uh, yoga session. Sorry about the shirt, but I just realised, look how that, look at the state of that. Uh, no, I have not ironed it, but uh, I enjoy the shirt anyway. And actually, it brings me on to my point. So, um, yoga tonight, I will do a quick time lapse of that. It's been a little while since I've done one of those. I have been doing yoga, but I just haven't been recording it. I will be doing that tonight. Anyway, so uh, some of you may know that I've shared before that I work in a school in this time of year. We actually break up tomorrow for Christmas. And um, sometimes you're very fortunate and you are gifted uh, presents from parents and, and, and children and colleagues, and all of those things. And I've got some fantastic uh, presents today that I got from colleagues. And bearing in mind, I've only been there six, seven weeks or so, it obviously... I'm very thankful uh, to them for that. Lots of kind of beardy type things. So I guess I shouldn't be trimming this anytime soon. Although I do need to have a little bit of a tidy up. Anyway, so uh, kind of through the grapevine, uh, I had heard that the parents were thinking of getting me something. And I didn't really hear anything more about that other than that kind of comment. And uh, as I mentioned before, I, I I made it quite clear, I suppose, early on through discussion that I was a vegan and... Um, you know, it's interesting because I think it's important sometimes uh, when it's appropriate, of course, to, to kind of share your, your lifestyle choices and uh, dietary requirements because it does come up in conversation. And I think being open about it uh, only invites conversation. And that's always a good thing. Anyway, I'm rambling. I was given this box by the parents. This box here, this black box. And uh, I didn't know what was inside it. But what I wanted to actually do is show you what is inside it. Because I think it's one of the coolest gifts. In fact, probably the coolest gifts I've ever received. Um, it's the kind of thing I wish I'd known about. Because this is the kind of gift that I give other people. So I open the top up here. I won't show you this part. But I'll show you what's inside it. And essentially, if I could just find the card. Here it is. I was greeted with this card here. This is... Oh, this is wild radish now i've since googled wild radish and basically what they do is they offer uh, all sorts of different hampers uh, there's a whole vegan section on kind of uh, confectionery you've got some savory you've got some larger hampers and they send you a box of goodies so let me just show you now some of the cool goodies i've got and shout out to wild radish i didn't know who you were before today and i will be definitely shopping in the future and checking out your website even more later i did a quick search on my phone today just to find out whether it was a, I thought it might have been a private company or it might have been something that, you know, like a local Facebook group or, um, or a local uh, reseller uh, of, of this, in which case I would have reached out to them, but wild radish. Anyway, let's get going. So I've got two bottles of this here. This is the Overhang Ginger Organic and Lime with raspberry leaf and burdock. What have we got in there? We've got B36. So B3, B6, B5 vitamins, 50% um, vitamin C, suitable for vegans, of course, refresh and revitalize. I've never seen this before. Yeah, it looks to be pretty cool. The ingredients are more or less as it says, um, milk thistle extract. Never heard of that before. Don't know what that is. But yeah, it's got all the vitamins in it. So I've got two bottles of that. I'll be checking that out probably this weekend. Looks to be quite refreshing. Uh, this brand I've seen before, but I've never seen this flavouring. So we've got Eat Real, and these are lentil chips. And this particular flavour are the tomato and basil flavour. I see this in most lo local supermarkets, smaller versions, and not this flavour. But um, hopefully they're going to reach a shelf soon, because these are about 40p or so. Decent bag of crisps. You can get the hummus ones, you can get some quinoa ones. Big fan of this brand. So Eat Real, thank you very much for what you're doing for the community. Next one here, Ten Acre. I've also heard about this brand, although I've never had a chance to actually eat anything that they have produced. So what have we got here? Uh, the story of when the cheese met the onion, hand cooked crisps. So I'm guessing that is a cheese and onion flavour crisps. Yeah, all right, cool. We'll be checking those out. Collie Rice, uh, never heard of the brand, but of course Collie Rice I'm familiar with. Two and a half minutes, microwave, pan fry. Um, do you know what? I'm not a big fan of frying this. I know microwaves are not the not really the go-to thing, but I just find they go a bit funny. Something a bit strange about it. But maybe this brand is better. Just the ones I've had in the past gone a bit clumpy and not not for me. Polly rice. Cool. Um, so, Piper's. 
made by farmers. Alrighty, Wessington tomato crisps. No idea what that is all about, but tomato flavour, potato crisps. Thank you very much. I'm just checking. Yeah, they're vegan. You know, sometimes you just you get a little bit caught up by some ingredients. Ah, oh, these are so Moorish. Candy kittens, sour watermelon. Let me tell you something quite annoying about this brand though. They've got a whole range of sweets just like this, but only a few of them are vegan. The others are vegetarian and they've got beef in them. I don't know why they would do that. I mean, why go to the 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 effort, I suppose, of making the vegan one if you're gonna be a completely vegetarian range. And if you are gonna go to the effort, then make everything vegan and make it so much better. They've got some amazing flavors that I can't have because they're not vegan. But candy kittens, whew. Strong brand, strong food. The Raw Chocolate Company, what we've got here, some chocolate almonds. That's Christmassy. They'll be coming with me on Christmas Day to share with the family because everyone likes eating the kind of nuts and seeds Christmas Day, don't they? Funny that, people all year round sometimes just completely forget and suddenly around Christmas, ah, oh, I'll eat nuts, it's a Christmassy thing. Well, chocolate almonds. The trouble with it is I probably end up eating the whole bag. Oh, what else have they also got here? Raw chocolate bars, what have they got? Can't read that. Sorted something. I can't read those. Oh, bit of an issue, look at that. You're supposed to be marketing a brand, it's so tiny, I can't, I can't read any of those, but anyway, they do raw chocolate bars. If I could read them, I would, but I can't. Um, Check out this, clear spring organic Japanese miso instant soup. No idea what that's gonna be like, but hey, we'll give it a go. High protein, apparently, so that's good. Yeah, well, I'm mean, interested to see what this is gonna be like. Nice. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, let me say that to last, actually. Clear spring again, Japanese rice cakes. I've heard of the brand. I don't know where you buy these because I haven't seen anything like these in, in a supermarket, maybe in a uh, specialised health food shop, but the ones by me don't don't seem to stock this. They look nice. I'm looking forward to trying some of those. This is a savoury box, by the way. Clear spring again. Ooh, tamari roasted cashew nuts. They look good, don't they? They look really cool. And now this is uh, saving this one to last. The reason why I'm saving it to last is because I've never actually had the meat version of this. I know it's kind of big out in America. When I went out to America six years ago, I still didn't try it. So I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. But this here from Primal Strips is the meatless vegan jerky soy. Hickory smoked. I've never seen this. Uh, of course, I've never even tried it before. So it looks like I've got a really cool box of goodies there to tuck into over Christmas because actually you know what it's like the big box of chocolates come out people just completely binge on them it'll be good for me to binge on this kind of stuff instead so I thought I'd just share that with you because it was interesting to me and I, I, so I opened it um, when I got home and just thought wow what a cool gift what a cool gift because vouchers are good and um, you know typically people buy alcohol I'm, I don't drink uh, so I normally re-gift those or, or, or sometimes, you know, as a colleague um, who I might give it to as well. Uh, so, yeah, I just saw this and it was a really, really genuinely thoughtful gift that someone's kind of gone out of their way to find something that is very specific to me. And I'm also really just, I suppose, thrilled that it's become so, so common nowadays that there are these companies out there who are throwing together boxes. What a great company idea. I know there's lots of companies that do things like this, but... It's just, it's just your basic, put your products together in a box. I don't know how much this is. I'm not entirely sure. I'll put it up on the screen because I will find out, uh, obviously. And uh, yeah, so, you know, why not give give Wild Radish a visit? If you're in the UK especially, go check them out. I don't know what they do for international customers. Maybe they do. Either way, I think it's worth a little visit just to say hey to them. I'm going to pack these up now and I'm going to get myself ready for a yoga session. And uh, sorry this video is quite long, but I just thought if I, if I throw a bit more content in, uh, it just provides hopefully a little bit more value to, to anybody watching. So I'll uh, see you after time lapse.
Okay, just finished my yoga session, and uh, for anybody who wants to know what that session was, it was um, Anchor in Hope Yoga Practice uh, with Adrian, uh, the person that I subscribe to and have been doing yoga, um, following her for a long time. And uh, yeah, lots of different videos there, some longer, some shorter. I'm also going to do um, some core work as well, which I believe is from... A video, I don't know if it's available on YouTube, but I saved it off uh, Facebook probably about two years ago now. And it was, um, who was it? Joe Wicks, is the body coach? Um, I've forgotten his name now. But it was a kind of a core workout that's about 15 minutes long and it was tough. And um, I just continue to build on the core anyway. It's just something I do as a, as a personal thing. Uh, I don't necessarily focus on incorporating into my uh, running routine, but it just so happens to be that that is how it's going to fall into place for me and has worked quite well. So I'm going to do that uh, whilst this video is um, uploading. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you all tomorrow. The rain is still absolutely pouring down outside. Anyway, let's get rolling.